I first met Harold Hunter in, I'm gonna say 1987. He was like a cartoon character, so animated and just full of life. And back in those days, if there was another skater, you guys were automatically friends, if not like instant family. He was just one of those dudes that knew how to shed light on the situation, you know? Like, if he would meet someone for the first time, he kind of like knew them forever. And then when he saw them again, he would like remember their name, even if it was for only five minutes. There was a whole movement of New York having an influence on the skateboard industry for the first time in the early 90s when New York became really popular. And Harold was at the forefront of that. I mean, it's almost 10 years now, and I was at Woodward three weeks ago and like, there's like 15 kids from the Harold Hunter Foundation. What the foundation does is bring skateboarding to at-risk youth. Skateboarding, which I think is way more attractive to inner city kids than conventional sports. The first thing that we thought of that we thought we could manage to do was to do scholarships to Woodward. So we did two the first year and then six and then eight and then now we just sent close to 30 kids to camp. It's important for us as an organization that's representing someone whose life was completely transformed by skateboarding that the gift that we are trying to give back to them is the same kind of opportunities that skateboarding brought to Harold. That's how we started doing some digital media training with Parsons, which I think will end up being one of the bigger things that we do, which is just providing a way to get them some wonderful training at some really reputable institutions, specifically focusing on technology, because I think it's something that skaters naturally do well. Harold passed away in February, and uh, during his passing, like so many people came to me with like different ideas. Like I was so overwhelmed, and I just sat there, and then Vinny just goes, look, Let's, let's just do a Harold Hunter Jam. Harold Hunter Day is the day that everything really comes together. It's the big day of fundraising. It's the big event that we throw for the skate community and the community at large for the Harold Hunter Foundation. He's had such an influence on all of us that this one day of the year is a great time for all of us to come together and celebrate the life and legacy of Harold Hunter. So it's been going on for nine years now and it's getting bigger and better every year. When we shifted from it being a 100% funded by New York event, DC was definitely one of the sponsors early on. Something else we're really excited about this year's Harold Hunter Day is that we're also doing a collaboration with Shut Skates, which is Harold's first sponsor as well as mine. We have a great capsule collection that we're doing with some iconic Shut graphics and some iconic DC product. And the proceeds are going to the Harold Hunter Foundation. Being an authentic brand, you have to give back. I don't care if it's giving free product or samples or whatever to needy kids. If you're not, then you're not supporting the community and you're not Back building up. a scene and you wouldn't be here if there wasn't a scene. Harold was one of those people that like, every day was a different adventure for him. And while other people had the same life, like wake up, go to work. But him, it was like, it was like literally an adventure. Like the dude could get up in the morning and come back with like 1,000 stories. Uh, he had an ill career, you know. I'm just happy, you know, that people remember him, and you know, in different odd ways, you know. So, his legend is living on.